Good day everyone! Welcome again in my science time discussion. And so, let's start. Our topic in this presentation is types of plate boundaries. Studying plate boundaries is important because along these boundaries, the formation of the lithosphere is happening. These geologic events have a great impact not only on the environment but also on us. There are three distinct types of plate boundaries which are differentiated by the type of movement they exhibit, namely divergent plate boundary, convergent plate boundary, and transform fault boundary. The first type of plate boundary is termed divergent boundary wherein plates move apart creating a tension zone. Divergent plate boundary is also known as constructive form of plate boundary. A divergent boundary occurs when two tectonic plates move away from each other. Along these boundaries, earthquakes are common and magma, a molten rock, rises from the Earth's mantle to the surface, solidifying to create new oceanic crust. In plate tectonics, a divergent boundary or divergent plate boundary is a linear feature that exists between two tectonic plates that are moving away from each other. Divergent boundaries within continents initially produce rifts, which eventually become rift valleys. Formation of rift valleys and oceanic ridges are indications that the crust is spreading or splitting apart. In this case, the plates are forming divergent plate boundaries wherein they tend to move apart. Most divergent boundaries are situated along underwater mountain ranges called oceanic ridges. As the plates separate, new material from the mantle goes up to fill the gap. These materials will slowly cool to produce new ocean floor. An example of a divergent boundary is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Is this a mid-ocean ridge, a divergent plate boundary located along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. There are also mid-ocean ridges at Indian Oceans and Pacific Oceans as well. Divergent boundaries also create rift valleys and new oceans. The rift valley in East Africa is the result of a divergent boundary. The spreading rate of these ridges may vary from 2 to 20 centimeters per year. Although a very slow process, divergence of plates ensures a continuous supply of new materials from the mantle. The Mid-Atlantic Ocean Ridge is an example of spreading center which causes the divergence of the South American Plate and the African Plate. Now, we will proceed to the types of divergent boundaries. There are two types of divergent plate boundaries. First is oceanic divergent boundaries and the other one is continental divergent boundaries. Let us have the oceanic divergent boundaries first. When a divergent boundary occurs beneath oceanic lithosphere, the rising convection current below lifts the lithosphere, producing a mid-ocean ridge. Extensional forces stretch the lithosphere and produce a deep fissure. When the fissure opens, pressure is reduced on the superheated mantle material below. It responds by melting, and the new magma flows into the fissure. The magma then solidifies, and the process repeats itself. The ridge is a high area compared to the surrounding seafloor because of the lift from the convection current below. Effects that are found at a divergent boundary between oceanic plates include 
a submarine mountain range such as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, volcanic activity in the form of fissure eruptions, shallow earthquake activity, creation of new seafloor, and a widening ocean basin. Mid-Oceanic Ridge is a formation from the diverging of oceanic plates. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a classic example of oceanic divergent boundary. Now let us proceed to continental diverging of plates. When a divergent boundary occurs beneath a thick continental plate not vigorous enough to create a clean single breakthrough the thick plate material. Here, the thick continental plate is arced upwards from the convection currents lift, pulled thin by extensional forces, and fractured into a rift-shaped structure. As the two plates pull apart, normal faults develop on both sides of the rift and the central block slide downwards. Earthquakes occur as a result of this fracturing and movement. Early in the rift forming process, streams and the rivers will flow into the sinking rift valley to form a long linear lake. As the rift grows deeper, it might drop below sea level, allowing ocean waters to flow in. This will produce a narrow, shallow sea within the rift. This rift can then grow deeper and wider. If rifting continues, a new ocean basin could be produced. Volcanic activity sometimes occurs within the rift. Rift Valley is the formation from the diverging of continental plates. The East Africa Rift Valley is an example of this type of plate boundary. There, the plates have fully separated and the central rift valley has dropped below sea level. Effects that are found at this type of plate boundary include a rift valley sometimes occupied by long linear lakes or a shallow arm of the ocean, numerous normal faults bounding a central rift valley, Shallow earthquake activity along the normal faults. Volcanic activity sometimes occurs within the rift. After learning the effects of divergent plate boundaries on the Earth's lithosphere, it's time for us to move on to a certain activity entitled Going Separate Ways. Objectives of the activity are Explain the processes that occur along divergent boundaries, determine the results of plates that are moving apart. Materials are photographs of rift valleys and oceanic ridges. Procedure. First, analyze the photographs of rift valleys and oceanic ridges from the previous slide and answer the questions that follow. First, what are common in the four pictures? Next, millions of years ago, the land masses in each picture were once connected. What do you think is happening to the Earth's crust in those pictures? And the third one, if this event continues for millions of years, what do you think will be the effect on the crust? And for the last activity, complete the drawing by illustrating your answer from question number 3. And it ends for now. 
hope that you learned from this discussion the divergent plate boundaries. Our next topic to be discussed will be convergent plate boundary. So please stay up to date with my next videos. Thank you so much.